All right, guys, right now what I'm going to do is number 10, and I'm going to quickly discuss expected value. When you see the word expected right away in your head, you should be thinking, I need to find the expected value. Um, on the formula sheet, which I don't have on my computer pulled up right now because I had to shut it down, there should be the term um, E of X on there. Look right now for your formula sheet. E of X, it should say E of X is equal to the sum, so sigma, of xi times p of xi, which means the observation times the probability of the observation. This game is talking about winning 20 points, so that my 20 points is there. If I roll a 6, the probability of getting 20 points then is 1, 6. Otherwise, any other number on the die will, be a, um, will get you a negative points of 3, so negative 3. The probability of that outcome is 5, 6. To figure out this expected value here, I can do one of two things. I could just do 20, whoops, 20 times 1 sixth plus negative 3 times 5 sixths, and I'll get 0 0.833. Or in the calculator, remember, you can put L1 as your observations right here, okay? L2 is your probability of your observation. The old calculator would do a one bar stats, L1 comma L2, and hit enter. The new calculator would do one bar stats, and in your list, it would be L1, and then in your frequency list would be L2. Make sure you practice this. You're going to get an expected value any way you calculate it of 0 0.833. You do need to times it times 100 because you're going to roll the dice 100 times. So this is just the expected value if you do this over and over on one roll, how many can you expect each time? So that's why you have to multiply it by 100. Hope this helps and that you're having a good day.